Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Gabe Seymour here with Pest Patrol. Hey, today I wanted to show you a video of a mouse trapping job we did in Southeast Portland. We set a bunch of traps, like 10 or 12 traps in a few closets and a pantry area. Ended up catching a mouse uh, three days later and no other activity. So pretty easy, quick job and hope you guys enjoy. So the customer had stated that they had seen a mouse inside of this first initial closet that we were in and then that they had seen droppings and we found droppings in two other locations in the pantry and then in another closet. So you'll see us set traps in three different rooms um, and that's what they are. So we got a bunch of traps here set. We're gonna stick them in this closet here and uh, see what we can catch. Okay, so we got traps set here and here right along the wall and then back a little further, one along each side, and then towards the door, same thing, and make sure all these are facing right directly into the wall. Up top, we got one set sideways there, and then we got one set right here, right along that And crack. just another note, you noticed that uh, that one trap that was set up top, it was literally set sideways. I had it, I had it sort of wedged in between the, the ceiling and kind of a, a part of the, the foundation wall and uh, that's part of trapping sometimes you got to be really creative um, so don't be afraid to try that you'd be surprised at the places where rats and mice can get caught in a closet here just one along each wall and then in the pantry we got one set right there one set there and again notice um, oftentimes in these smaller rooms I'm just setting one along each uh, wall or one along two of the walls. Um, this isn't uncommon, especially if you're gonna be dispersing it throughout a bunch of different rooms. Um, so just make sure that you have coverage that you feel comfortable with. Um, you could set more, you could even set less, but with mice, it's good to have uh, multiple traps that they can nibble on. And this is just a picture. Three days later, we ended up catching this mouse with this left trap here in the pantry. Figures that's where he was. And no other activity, all the other traps were clean. Thanks for watching that guys. I hope that that's helpful showing you just really quick what a uh, trapping process looks like. Um, just a couple notes that when we set mouse traps, generally you're either gonna set them back to back against a wall or you're gonna set it straight facing directly right into a wall. Um, either one of those is gonna give you the best chance of catching it. If you just set one kind of sideways along a wall uh, you're really only going to be able to catch a mouse that's coming uh, one way, and they're usually running right along uh, right along a, a wall or a protective surface. So just to give yourself the best uh, chance of catching it, make sure it's either facing directly in or that you put two of them, one facing one way, one facing the other, along the wall. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it added value to you, leave a comment below, like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, uh, feel free to give me a call or a text with any questions, comments, concerns, or if you would like us to come out and take care of your rat, mouse, or pest problem, 503-985-6523, 503-985-6523.